All right. Hey, friends. Today I'm going to read the story, Not Norman, A Goldfish Story by Kelly Bennett, illustrated by Nora Z. Jones. Noah Z. Jones. It says, when I got Norman, I didn't want to keep him. I wanted a different kind of pet, not Norman. Hmm. Right now it's not telling me anything. I don't really know who Norman is, but if I know that this is a pet, I'm going to use my inferencing skills and guess that Norman is his goldfish. He does not want Norman as his pet. I wonder what kind of animal he wanted as his pet. I wanted a pet who could run and catch, or one who could climb trees and chase strings. A soft furry pet to sleep on my bed at night. Not Norman. All Norman does is swim around and 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 around. Hmm. Still doesn't say it, but I bet he would like a pet like this. Because this pet likes to chase and get things. But again, I'm just using context clues as I'm reading. That's what good readers do. They think as they read. This is it, Norman, I decided. I'm trading you for a good pet. Norman doesn't move. Not even a fin twitch. How could I trade him like this? No one will want a sorry looking fish in a gunky bowl. When I drop Norman into his nice clean bowl, he starts dripping and flipping and flapping his fins around. He looks so goofy, I had to laugh. Don't think about, don't think that just because you made me laugh, I'm going to keep you, I tell him. Tomorrow, you're out of here. Norman blew a stream of bubbles. If we had to use a feeling right now, how do we think he feels, the character feels, about Norman? Do we think he likes Norman? Or do we think he does not like Norman? You tell me. The next day, I take Norman to school with me. If I talk him up real good during show and tell, maybe someone will want him. On the way there, we see my friend Austin. Austin has a really cool dog and seven puppies. Want to swap, swap one of your pups for Norman, I ask? Who's Norman? asks Austin. My goldfish, I say. By the time I rescue Norman, Half his water is gone. Oh no, what happened in the story? What did the dogs do? You tell me. I'm sorry, I tell Norman when we get to school. I'm really sorry. He just stares at me all googly eyed. Finally, it's my turn to show and tell. Just as I start to talk about goldfish, Emily shouts, Jenny's gone. Who let my snake loose? Ah! Look at everybody running. What kind of feeling do you think they're feeling right now? You tell me. Does anyone hear the story of how I got Norman? Does anyone even ask to hold his bowl? No. They're all jumping and screaming and chasing the snake. Not Norman. He's looking right at me. Thanks for listening, I tell him. That afternoon, we go to my music class. As soon as it's over, I'm taking Norman back to the pet store. I take out my tuba and begin to play. Boom, boom, ba. Boom, boom, ba. Boo, ba, boo, boo, bee. I glance over at Norman. He swaying back and forth. Glug, 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 he mouths. Look, Norman's singing, I say. Pay attention, snaps Maestro, and try to play the proper notes. Maestro makes me stay for extra practice. By the time my lesson is over, it's too late to go to the pet store. Don't think that just because you like my music, I'm going to keep you, I tell Norman. He glugs. That night, I'm sound asleep when screech, scrick. What's that noise? Scratch, scrick, screech. Yikes, 
there's something at the window. Then, out of the corner of my eye, I spot... Norman! He isn't scared. He isn't swimming around in circles either. He glugs and gives me a little wave. I'm not alone. Together, Norman and I slide open the curtains. It was just a broken tree branch. Whew! Thanks for watching out for me, Norman. On Saturday, I take Norman to the pet store, just like I said I would. I look at the cats and dogs and snakes and birds. I look at the hamsters and mice and lizards too. But they all look, they all look like good pets, but they are not Norman. When I got Norman, I wasn't sure I wanted to keep him. But now, even if I pick any pet in the whole world, I wouldn't trade him. Not Norman. How do you think the character felt about Norman at the end of the story? Is it different from the beginning? What makes you believe that it's different? What's telling you it's different? You tell me. If I had to say something about this story, I would say, looking back at the book, in the beginning of the story, he was not happy to get Norman. He did not like having Norman as his pet. But he did a lot of things, right? Norman didn't have to drink all of his water. Norman didn't get loose. Norman appreciated him. And Norman was there for him when he was feeling scared. So I think at the end of the story, whoops, I think at the end of the story, the character liked Norman. That's how it changed. In the beginning of the story, he did not like Norman, but by the end of the story, he did. I hope you liked our book today, and we'll do another one next week.